Hey everyone, welcome to the new episode of Doctor Who Reviews and More. And well now, I have just been watching the episode uh, The Invasion of Time. Well, it started up uh, at the beginning. You saw uh, doc the Doctor are on this spaceship and talk to these creatures. And he is uh, making a deal with them. And he is signing a contract. And um, then he... And then, you know, Leela. Yeah, Leela is curious. What is the doctor do? How long do the doctor going to be there? Do the doctor come back? So she was curious. So, well, she wants to know what the doctor was doing there. But the doctor didn't say when it comes back. And, uh, you know, K9, he didn't tell Leela what the doctor was doing there. No. Because the doctor gave him orders not to um, tell Leela about the plan. No. And then you see that the doctor comes to Gallifrey and he says that he's the new president and they have the ceremony and um, he gets this, um, this key and he gets the crown that uh, is the key. Yeah, it's the key to the matrix. And when he got this, uh, the key to the matrix, something happened. So the doctor falls down. Because, you know, the matrix found out that, oh, the doctor isn't the real presidente. That's why the doctor has some problems at first. And you see that, um, and the people on Gallifrey, they work for the doctor. But, but some of the people are against the doctor. Because they thought that the doctor was a spy and everything. And, and also, he uh, didn't remember Leela. We can't bring an alien here. But you did, doctor. I'm with you here. You took me here to Gallifrey. And then she, he said, oh, I don't remember you. You're an alien. And then he said to the guards, run after her, get her. So the guards were after Leela. And Leela escaped. And she was heading into this room where she met this woman. And the woman didn't um, um, tell the guards and everything about Leela where she was. And no, she didn't. She didn't care about that. She let she let the guards handle the security. And she told Leela that oh, there's a force field between you and I there. And then she had this phone call or something. And she talked to someone. And uh, she talked to this person. And a little bit later she found out that some um, mysterious ship was heading their way. Yeah, it was those creatures that uh, the doctor was talking to earlier. Those were heading to Gallifrey. And they could read the mind. mind. So the doctor pretend to be another person that he wasn't. So, and uh, you know that uh, also these 
uh, creatures revealed themselves later on. Oh, they're only humans, just like us. And then one of them follow the doctor, but the doctor goes into the secret passage. And he has locked the door from the inside and he laughed this. <laughs> and he talked to this other guy that was there. But a little bit early, he was with an other guy in that room and he said that, oh, I want this room to be turned into the suite or office or something. And they turn it into the office and, and uh, you know that the doctor goes to uh, the TARDIS every time because he talks to K9 about the plan. And also you see that the doctor pretend to be asleep, but he goes out of, he find out that there were a secret passage in that room. So he gets, he found out the password and the door is open and he goes out and straight to the TARDIS. Yeah. But there's one guy there, one Time Lord, that follows him. He's curious. And um, he, after the doctor talked to K9 about the plan and, you know, he goes straight back to the room. Pretend he was asleep all the time. When uh, this guy that uh, was curious about what the doctor was doing in the TARDIS and, uh, uh, and some guards and there were, no, there was this uh, guy that were with him. So the doctor, uh, the man said, oh, the president was asleep all the time. And you know, and also, we see that uh, Leela and uh, this woman that she was uh, introduced to and become friends with, they run, they escaped the building on uh, Gallifrey and uh, go straight outside. And they meet up with this um, tribe, this of, tribe of men couple of men were surrounded them. And uh, uh, Leela convinced them to help to uh, defend the president. But well, but all the others thought that the doctor was a bad guy. But Leela, she couldn't believe that. The more, there was something else. Yeah. So Leela, she didn't believe that the doctor was a bad man. No. So she did whatever she can to find out. And uh, on the way, she had to fight. And when you see that when uh, this uh, creature that turns into human walks with the doctor to the room, the doctor walks beside him, back, back, him, and he goes straight into the secret passage and into the room. There, uh, another person was waiting, and he talks, you know. And also, you see that, well, this is a spoiler for you. After uh, the doctor deactivate or um, well he did something to the matrix yeah and the, um, because the alien creature asked him to do it but the doctor wouldn't do it but he did afterwards 
because this uh, uh, creature that uh, those knew, they knew that the doctor didn't tell the truth because they could read his mind, and that's why he goes into the TARDIS all the time to talk to K nine. So K nine helped, and um, he um, didn't kill anyone. No, K nine didn't. Kill anyone? He paralyzed them. He he stunned them. Yeah. And and also when the doctor was in the TARDIS, you saw the guards goes in there. They had they find out the key. What kind of the type of key? The doctor has to lock unlock the door, so they go straight in. Yeah, and the man. Pulls a gun at the doctor and call him a traitor. Yeah, a traitor. But the doctor isn't a bad guy. So, well, the guard that was outside when the other guard was inside, he gets killed by other guards that works for this guy that works on both sides. Yeah, and because they were out, well, because the guard that was outside the TARDIS worked with the guy that was in the TARDIS. So um, those guards that was on the outside now, they were after that guy that were inside the TARDIS. So the doctor, he goes out. Asked what happened, and oh, these go- these people here, these guards were after you. They want to kill you. Oh, so we killed them, and then he goes straight into the TARDIS and said that these guys that are on outside are after you, so you are stuck in here. Yeah, and also the doctor likes jelly babies, you know, candy. Yeah, he loves them. So he uh, eats some uh, jelly babies also in this episode. And uh, Leela, yeah, she falls in love with this guy that was in the TARDIS. Yeah, that's a little later on. She falls in love with him. But first, yeah, first they couldn't stand each other. But afterwards, they fall in love. And also, when uh, Leela and this other woman meet up with these uh, men on the outside, they were they said that oh we could we can't fight with these weapons. But Leela, yeah, she finds a way because because you know Leela is a warrior. Where Leela is from, she's a warrior princess. Amazon something. So she knows how to fight. Yeah. So she trained them and then they go in. And and also you see that Leela, you know, when those uh, people stand and look at the doctor and the doctor stands with his back turned, what is behind the doctor? Well, I'm going to tell you. But first, these creatures that the doctor works for, at first, they disappeared. Yeah, later on. And then, you know, the people, the Time Lords and Leela, they stood still, big eyes. And the doctor says, what? What are, you, what are you looking at? And then he turns around. And then, yeah, right there, the potato people, Santarians, were there. Yeah. And they were after the doctor. But, uh, you know, they asked, are you the doctor? Do you know? Do you know who is the doctor? They didn't know 
who the doctor was at first. No. Well, because the doctor told them that I am the Presidente. Yeah, convinced them. So they didn't um, find the doctor at first, but eventually they did. So, um, um, well, the Santarians was, uh, uh, these creatures were slaves to the Santarians. So they deserved their purpose. They did their purpose. And, uh, you know, and they wanted the doctor. And also they wanted the key to the matrix. And the doctor asked one of the counselors there, that was a, f a good friend of the doctor, but he tried to trick the doctor, but the doctor convinced him, no, I wanted their key. So the man gave him the doctor the key eventually yeah and also um this guy that was curious and wor worked for both the both sides he uh, tries to tell the, the Santarians, oh to uh, activate the, the matrix you have to go to the Taurus and you have to do this and that and this but eventually the, the Santarians say, if you don't do it, what we ask, you're going to be dead. We're going to kill you. So finally he did. He activate. He passed by the uh, system and something happens to the TARDIS. So the doctor, Leela, and the uh, counselor and this guy that Leela was in love with and this woman that Leela uh, becomes friends with they worked walked on the same place many times and then uh, Leela said oh it's a deja vu that means that you um, have been through this many times but the doctor says, no, he didn't believe it at first. So, and also um, later on, you see that um, the leader for the Centurions had this bomb or something. And you know, the doctor has a weapon that K9 and this woman that was friend of uh, Leela um, made. And before that, the doctor gave her the key. But first, uh, he gave Leela the key first. And later on, he gave the key to this woman that Leela was friend with. Guard it with your life. Because that's the key to this weapon. So um, they used the weapons on the Centaurians. And afterwards the doctor didn't remember anything that happens. No. The Matrix did that make sure that the doctor didn't remember a thing afterwards. So, the Doctor and Leela and the rest of the Time Lords that was left and alive, and these people that also was alive, that Leela met on the outside, they uh, said goodbye to the Doctor, and, well, the Doctor thought that, oh, Leela, come on, you have to go. But Leela, she decides to stay on Gallifrey. And the doctor saw why she wants to stay, because she was in love with this guy. And he told 
K9, come on K9. But K9 wants wants also to stay. Yeah, he wants to stay and uh, look after Leela and the sky, you know. So also the doctor went inside and said, I'm going to miss you too, savage. And then he goes into the room, the next room, and got this huge box that stands K9 M2 or something. And then he smiles with this uh, Time Lord smile at the end. So, well, so the, in this episode, we see the Gallifrey, Gallifrey, Time Lords, Sontarians, and some alien creatures that seems like they were shapeshifters. Yeah, they were aliens, and they changed into humans. And there were also some Amazon men, warriors, yeah, also in this episode. And K9 were also in this episode as well. So, well, so that, that was the last episode, The Invasion of Time, in season 15 of Doctor Who. And you know that, you know that uh, Tom Baker, I believe he was, he was in his 40s when, when he played in the Doctor Who. And now, he's in his 90s. Wow. The year goes by very fast, just like that. Yeah. Um, so, well, so this episode was a good episode. A great, awesome, exciting, and fun. Well, I, I enjoyed it. I loved it. This was a good episode. And stars, nine. Nine out of ten stars. Yeah. And you know, and you know the Sunmakers? That episode was the weakest episode in this season. Yeah. But, well, but some of you maybe disagree. Oh, he said that uh, Sunmakers is the weakest, but we don't think so. But it is. Yeah, if you look carefully at the episode, you will find out eventually that that's the weakest episode. Yeah. So... As the fourth doctor used to say, do you want a jelly baby? Uh, share your collection, connection with, a, with other Doctor Who fans all over the world. And I hope to see you in another video. So... Bye. We are the Sotarians, and we are here to destroy the Doctor once and for all. Do you know who the Doctor is? Yeah, we heard that he is on Gallifrey. But they didn't tell us who the Doctor is. Doctor.